Welcome to my channel, Storytime Astrology by Andrea, where I share my collection of astrology books that I've acquired over the last 20 years. Growing up in my house, my mom would always ask, what's their sign? What's their birthday? Astrology is a fun way to learn about the people you love and about yourself. I'm so excited to be sharing this book with you today. It's definitely one of my favorites, um, if you can't tell. I uh, purchased it 20 years ago. I've used it many a times for a reference. Uh, I have a girlfriend call me and be like, I'm dating this person, and I'd say, what's their birthday? And I'd look them up really quick um, because it's got every single day of the year in it every single day so you can look up that birthday and it tells you all about that person about their astrology and about their numerology it's called the power of birthdays stars and numbers the complete personology reference guide and it's written by safi crawford and geraldine sullivan uh like i said bought this 20 years ago bought it in a bookstore um, called bookman's and um, I was going to school in a small college town called Flagstaff, Arizona. And um, yeah, I just, I'm so thankful that I bought this book that day. It, um, it's, like I said, it's been an amazing reference and I, I'm just, I just love it. And I, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I have a goal and my goal is to get through Every single day, make a video about everybody's birthday, every single day of the year. That's my goal. So uh, I hope you enjoy the book as much as I do. All right. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the birthday of May 1st. If you're born on May 1st, that means that you are a Taurus. Your sun is in the sign of Taurus, which as you can see from that symbol right there, that you're represented by the bull. You can be as stubborn as a bull, as they say. And it also says that if you're born on May 1st, your decanate is in Virgo. And you are a fixed sign and you're an earth sign. Uh, May 1st is not born under a fixed star. But I will read a little bit more about what it is like to be a Taurus to you. Okay. If you're a Taurus, it says you are the pragmatist. So you are the centralist, the nature lover, the singer, and the evaluator. Definitely have noticed that Tauruses uh, love nature, love plants. My girlfriend, her whole house is full of plants. She loves having greenery all over her home. Tauruses love to get their hands in the soil and in the dirt. Um, and they love to garden usually. And um, let's see, what else about Taurus? I have lots of Tauruses in my life. I tend to get along with them quite well. Um, lots of friends. My husband is a Taurus. So um, they're very stoic. You, If they're going through a crisis outwardly, they would look perfectly fine. You would never know it, um, which is not something I can relate to. <laughs> usually I... Have lots of expression all over my face you can definitely tell if i'm going through something but the taurus definitely not they are stubborn they like uh, luxury they like good food and they appreciate pretty things so that's just a little bit about taurus let's read a little bit let's read more on um may 1st birthday though oops i hit the wrong button sorry okay so it says here your birthday reveals you to be astute, practical, and creative individual who needs people. You thrive on variety and change, and these may provide you with the excitement you need. Having magnetic charm and being very sociable, you need the approval of others, and you are generally popular. You have a strong attraction for beauty and the arts, which can be very could be a valuable form of expression for your emotional sensitivity. With an inclination for art, music, or drama, you're likely to use your work as a form of creative self-expression. The added influence of your Virgo decanent suggests that you have mental agility, discrimination, and enhanced communication skills. 
together with your creative abilities, this may manifest as a talent for writing. It also shows an ability to work hard and is in a desire to be of service, as well as an inclination toward detailed work or research. Since this influence also emphasizes an ability to gain money and material resources, it can help you to realize your ideals. Oops, I realized I wasn't maybe on there. Sorry about that. Having the added advantage of being both practical and analytical, as well as emotional and sensitive, you have a wide range to your personality, and you are therefore in a better position than most to achieve on a grand scale. You may have you may just have to be careful of becoming discouraged or distracting yourself from your high objectives through overindulgences and too good a desire for the good life. Sounds like a Taurus. If you are, if in, sorry, in youth, you are sensitive, versatile, and sociable. After the age of 20, when your progressed sun moves into Gemini, there is an increased desire to express your ideas and interlate more with your immediate environment. This may encourage you to study or mentally diversify in some ways. In your middle years, after the numerous changes, you are likely to find probable gains through partnerships and cooperative relationships. Around the age of 50, there's another turning point when your progressed son enters cancer. This will highlight the growing importance of needing emotional stability and the security of home. your secret self. You possess powerful emotions and an ability to give and receive love. It is, it is therefore important to find a form of expression for your feelings rather than seeking fulfillment and financial interests. If drifting, you may find yourself getting caught up in other people's emotional dramas as a way of acting out your own sensitivity. A desire for order and method is generally helpful to you, although a definite life plan is a prerequisite for making good use of all your tremendous potential. By having a strong sense of values, you can build something worthwhile for the future. Through being diligent, you will be able to convert your excellent vision into a practical reality, and you will find that work opportunities will be offered to you just when you need them. Perseverance is therefore a powerful key to your success, and by being steady, you will be able to curb an impatient side to your nature that wants instant gratification. So work and vocation. Okay, it says, those of you with creative and musical talents may be drawn toward writing or singing, you're likely to be blessed with a fine voice and a good ear. Travel or work involving change and variety is also liable to interest you. Intuitive and sensitive, you often have an interest in metaphysics, philosophy, or spirituality. Career-wise, you may be a good salesperson with an ability to promote, I promote ideas, people, or products. Otherwise suitable professions include banking, real estate, garden centers, <laughs> dealing in products of the land, or creative cooking, and catering. You may also be drawn to the entertainment world, and you have the potential to succeed in any creative pursuit. Famous people who share your birthday include singers Judy Collins and Rita Coolidge, actor Glenn Ford, astrologer William Lilly, and writers Terry Southern and Joseph Heller. Okay, numerology. How do the numbers in your birthday influence your personality? Okay, am I all lined up? Good. Okay, let me get started here. The great desire to be first and autonomous is suggested by your birth date. As a number one, you are inclined to be individual, innovative, 
and courageous with plenty of energy. This pioneering spirit indicated here encourages encourages you to make your own decisions or strike out alone. Full of enthusiasm and original ideas, you often show others the way forward. With the number one birthday, you may also need to learn that the world does not revolve around you. The sub-influence of the number five month indicates that you need a steady pace and a purpose. Self-discipline allows you to take control over your life. Since you are ver- you are versatile and practical strategist, busy turning your thoughts into deeds, having a routine or specialty is it adv- is advantageous. Sorry, you benefit from being aware of others' needs and being responsible brings freedom from worry. Strong instincts can guide and inspire you. Uplifted you see new possibilities and a brighter future. Be patient and work within what is possible. Positive, leadership, creativity, progressive attitudes, forcefulness, optimism, strong convictions, competitiveness, independence, and gregariousness. Negative is overbearingness, jealousy, egotism, and Antagonism, lack of restraint, selfishness, weakness, inability, and impatience. Okay. That was, all right. That was a lot of stuff there. Okay. Love and relationships. Romantic and idealistic about relationships, you're likely to take your time finding true, your true partner. You may sometimes choose platonic friendships as it is hard to find a relationship that measures up to your high ideals. It is better to pick a partner who is clever and enthusiastic with a strong humanitarian side. When you fall in love, you love deeply and remain loyal even though periods of dif- remain loyal even through periods of difficulty. By developing flexibility and detachment, you can avoid emotional frustration and make your relationship smoother, happier, and more rewarding. Your special someone. You may be lucky in love with a person born on one of the following dates. So, let's see. Love and friendship. You may want to screenshot this here. And below that is... I'm just making sure it's all in there. Well, we've got love and friendship. Okay, it does show fatal attractions. Sorry, I couldn't see it on my phone. <laughs> We've got, so love and friendship, then beneficial dates, and then your fatal attractions. And then we've got challenging and soulmates. Okay, so there's the reading for May 1st. I hope that you liked this video. Um, If you did, please give me a thumbs up if you could. Uh, Let me know in the comments too if you get a chance to let me know if you feel that this is is like you. Is this some, is this, does this fit your personality or the person that you know that's born on May 1st or does it not? Either way, um, let me know. I'm interested to know. If you want to learn more about other birthdays, I'm going to, my goal is to uh, read every birthday of the year here, so out of this book. So if you'd like to see more, um, maybe go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and uh, have a great day.